Now you guys wouldn't know this because you always see me in the shop, but when I'm not in the shop, I love to wear watches. I'm a watch guy, I've got quite a collection, and when Jord contacted me about doing a sponsored video for their wooden watches, of course I said yes. They sent me this amazing ebony wooden watch, and today I'm going to build a box for it. I'm going to show you a couple cool tricks when it comes to putting small form projects together. So stick around, that's what's coming up. So I wanted this build to be really special because at the end of the video I'm going to give the box away along with a voucher from Jord to get your own wooden watch. So I went down to the local hardwood supplier, I picked up some really nice uh, Paduke and some really nice Purple Heart, and then I grabbed some Juniper and Redwood out of my scrap bin. At this point I'm not really 100% sure on the design. I do know that I want the interior to be similar size to the box that the watch comes in so you can use the same material for storing and displaying the watch. Now I cut some Paduke down to uh, the size that I wanted and I'm just going to glue these together. You're not going to see a lot of fancy joinery in this build. Um, small foam box like this, it's really not necessary. So I'm using a CA gel and a hardener or activator to make the glue dry really fast so I can just keep moving along with the build. Now I will mention that each joint where it's to be glued, I clean it up a little bit with some thinner just to get a little bit of the wood oils off of this so it get a lot better adhesion. I didn't show that on camera. Now, we're going to get some people asking about the strength of using a CA gel in this application. On a small form box like this where you really don't have to worry about movement, it's fine. On a larger build, you would want to use a wood glue as opposed to uh, a, a CA gel and activator. Now, after I glued the initial box together, I took it over to the bandsaw and trimmed off the purple heart on the bottom. And then I drew some lines along this because I know I didn't want it to be this just boxy thing. I wanted to have some curve to it. I really like using curve in my designs when I can. So I just kind of freehand sketched out some curves on the side and then used the bandsaw to cut those curves away. With that done, I took it over to my large sander. This is a pneumatic sander and sanded off the sides of it and just smooth everything out nice and nice and neat so I could take it to the next step. Now, I'm going to glue a top on this as well. I didn't do that before because I needed to be able to see how the thickness of the walls or the sides before I cut that curve in. So once I had the uh, curve cut, I glued the top on again, cut it off with the bandsaw and then just finished trimming it up. Now, I wanted to do something unique with this, so I'm using my Lichtenberg burner that I got from Constanoga to uh, burn the top. Now I'm using a really heavy baking soda mix. Now this heavy baking soda mix is going to interact with the tannins in the, uh, the Purple Heart and with the added heat from the electricity it really turns it this really interesting kind of deep green color. It's kind of hard to tell here on, on the video. Now. I'm kind of going back and forth with the with the probes, making sure I'm getting all over the place. I'm trying to create that kind of lightning pattern that you get from uh, these Lichtenberg machines. And I'm really pleased with the results and the way it turned out. So after I burned it and I let the last of the fluid dry, I sanded it again to clean it all up and I want to cut the top off of this or to make, to make the lid. And now again, I want to add some curve to it to kind of keep it in sequence with the rest of the piece. So I just penciled, penciled out a line that looked pleasing to the eye and then cut it with the bandsaw. I'm going to use hinges on this for opening and closing, but I want that front to close really well. So I'm adding an auxiliary piece of Purple Heart on the inside that's going to stick up a little bit above the, uh, the trim line there for the opening. And then I'm using another piece behind it to kind of hold the watch in a particular spot. And then that empty space behind there I can use to put the uh, rag that comes with the watch to help you know keep it clean after you take it off. You want to make sure you're wiping the oils and stuff off of it. You're so again, using the, the uh, CA gel and activator to glue everything in place, and then it's just a matter of adding the hinges now. Now when you're adding hinges, especially on smaller form boxes like this, it can get a little tricky. So it's a really good idea just to tape the whole thing together with painter's tape. And then rather than trying to hold the hinges in pl place and mark them out, I use a, a little bit of glue or you can use some double sided tape to hold the hinge in place while you mark it out and put the screws in for it. This makes it go quick and easy. 
Oh, off camera, I pre-trapped those or pre-drilled some holes for those screws because they're brass screws, and you got to be very careful when you're putting brass screws into hardwood. Now, the last thing I wanted to do to add a little bit of flair was put an interesting handle on here, so I cut a small piece of juniper up, and again, just glued it in place. Now, with everything done and sanded, I put a very light coat of uh, nitrocellulose lacquer on this and then wax, a coat of furniture paste wax afterwards. Now, I was really, really happy with the way the, uh, the burning came out and the colors of the material. I really liked the curves on this, so this was ended up being a really fun build, and I was excited with the results. Now, I've really been enjoying my watch. I've been enjoying having a really nice wooden watch. This is my first wooden watch, and I guarantee you I'll own a few more. And here's a few pictures of how the box all came out in the end. So the folks over at Jord Watch want to do something really cool. They're going to offer uh, the viewers an opportunity to be part of a random generator drawing and win a voucher for a wooden watch. Now, on top of that, whoever wins the drawing, I am going to send them the box I made in today's video. And of course, we'll sign the bottom. So you'll have a box made by Izzy Swan and a really cool wooden watch. So de definitely check that out. The links will be in the description box below. And as always, thank you for watching.